Right, I've just met a gentleman who's on quite a bit of a hike. He's a bit lost, but I tried to send him on the right direction towards a road, and then he can find his way from there. I was going to sit on that bench there, but it's, they've put it in a dark, cold place. So I'm going to make myself wait for my lunch. I haven't had anything to eat since I left. I haven't had anything to eat since 8 o'clock this morning. It's going on for 2 o'clock now. I haven't had anything apart from a boiled sweet. I haven't had an apple, pear, nothing. I'm starving, actually. But I'm going I'm to wait until I've done the wood now. It's so beautiful. It's intoxicating. But I have noticed that the, the wild garlic doesn't even, even seem to be very common over this side. It was mainly up along there and over the other side of the wood. It doesn't seem to be... I can see a patch of it there. If there's a sun patch, there's a bit over there. There's a patch that over there. Um, but it's not intermingling with the bluebells. And a lot of it is still, I'm sorry to say, very, very closed. Look at those buds. That's the wild garlic up this side. Tightly closed. But where you get patches of sun, it will break out. Because it's very brambleized here, so you don't get a lot of it here. And there's, of course, there is, there is some. But it's um, guarded. Still on guard. I keep coming out here for the third time in a month. Seems to me you've got to wait till uh, halfway through May at least. I'll have to make a note of that. But then it does depend what sort of winter you've had. But look at that blue. That is much richer than last week's video. And if I zoom in up there, where there's a bit of sun, the wild garlic is there's quite a big patch up there, look. Quite a big patch up there. I should have asked him where he'd come from, shouldn't I, that chap? Because um, he was carrying a massive rucksack and all his camping gear. And um, someone has sent him through the wood. But, I mean, it is a nice journey through the wood. And he had his map and everything, bless him. He's heading for Sanford. <laughs> But I didn't have my glasses on, so um, I couldn't really see from, very much from his map. <sighs> Alright, some people coming in a minute. I'll just zoom out again. That's zooming in, isn't it? And there's the trees all around. Up and down, all around, everywhere. 